Good evening, Shubers. How are you all doing? So today in our operator's guide for Rainbow Six Siege, we're going to be having a look at Rook. So Rook is the GIGN other defending character. He's, along with Doc, really, really useful. He is actually probably my set, uh, my second preference for a defensive character. He's such a useful character to have. Going into his loadout first, he comes equipped either with a P90 submachine gun, an MP5 submachine gun, or a close range shotgun. Obviously, pick the weapon best suited to your playstyle. If you like to be up close and personal, the shotgun is probably going to be your best bet. If you like to stay back, take pop shots, then one of the submachine guns is going to be your better bet. I absolutely love P90s, so whatever game I'm ever playing, I always pick a P90. But I have had a go with the MP5 and it does take people down a little bit quicker but I like having a few more rounds in the magazine to surprise people with because people I'd think you've only got 30 or so shots in the, in the magazine and then you've got to reload. The P90 comes equipped with 50 rounds in the magazine. There's so many rounds in the magazine. It really does absolutely tear through people that are unsuspecting of you having so much ammo in your gun. He's got the choice of two different secondary weapons. He's either got the choice of a uh, Magnum revolver, which is really, really powerful, but obviously only six shots in the barrel, uh, or a PM9 handgun, which is a, just a normal 9mm semi-automatic handgun. A lot more rounds in the magazine, however, a lot less damage than the Magnum. His gadgets, he's either got a deployable shield, which is really useful. You can either use this as cover for yourself or for your team, or you can actually use this to block off areas because it's gonna it's gonna make attacking characters have to jump over the thing so obviously exposing themselves to quite a high amount of gunfire as they're doing that really really useful if you put one of these in front of a doorway or something it's really really useful to make people have to jump over it and expose themselves quite wide to you and so choice if you don't fancy this deployable shield is the barbed wire really useful if it's just putting down somewhere and making attacking teams have to walk over slowly they can't run over this stuff so they've either got to destroy it or they've got to walk over it slowly both of which are buying you a couple of seconds to sort yourself out a better a new position to take out any attacking team so going into his actual ability this is the reason why i think rook is a definite must have on any defending team his ability his he will put down a sack which holds five armor pieces so one for each person in the team this will actually boost your armor right up. It will give you a little bit more survivability against anyone shooting at you. Really, really useful thing to have, especially in conjunction with people like Doc, who can pick you up once they've got you down. This is such a useful ability to have. If you ever see a Rook in your team and he's put down his armor pack, make sure you grab it because it's going to be increasing your armor so much it's going to be giving you so much more survivability against people shooting at you it's such a useful thing to have definite must have as well as doc in any defending team so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump into a game I'm going to show you exactly what his ability looks like give you a little bit of gameplay with Rook and we'll see how we get on shall we 